Today is part three of the interview with uh, Orioles prospect and Bowie native L.J. Hose. Over the past 25 years, Major League Baseball has seen a significant drop in a number of African-American players in the league. The league, for the most part now, is dominated by white and Hispanic players. In Prince George's County, football and basketball are number one, as baseball has become somewhat insignificant in public schools. As Dave Goldman finds out, LJ says African-American players can still play the game, and he hopes to be a role model for young players right here in the county. It is significant that a Prince Georgian is doing this because we don't see too many Prince Georgians make it to this level now. I'm sure that's not lost on you or your family. No, it's not. It's, a, it's something I think about every day. I want to, you know, be able to give back to my community. You know, that's, it's tough, you know. Nowadays, you know, there isn't too many African-American kids playing baseball or too many kids in, in PG County playing baseball. You know, county baseball is something I played when I grew up. And, and now it's pretty much diminished. So mm -hmm. I want to be able to be an example to, to other kids looking up to me and saying, well, I can be the next LJ Hose. I can be better than LJ Hose. So I want to go out there and see that, well, this guy's from PG County. So baseball, you know, in our area is not, not really big. You know, it's basketball, football. So I want to be able to prove to other people that you can play baseball, you can not make it. You could be one of those guys that the Orioles organization looks at and says, we could reach into the Prince George's market if things go right. I'm sure that means a lot to you as well. It definitely does. You know, it just brings some attention back to PG County and, and show that you know, I've made it from there. And you know, I've, I've grown up playing in the communities of you know playing in Glen Arden and playing in Kettering and actually playing for Bowie a little bit. So definitely, it would be a great thing to just show the kids that are coming up like, well, the baseball is another outlet for me, not just football and basketball. Because you know, if you're if you're a six foot point guard, it's, it's a slim opportunity for you. If you're you know, a little kid trying to play football is, is a slim opportunity. So, you know, you could be five seven to be a great baseball player. So I just want to be able to show people that and, and you know, just, just bring some hope to the community. I think it's a great situation when you have the minor league teams so close to the major league teams. The fans in those markets can see the young players in their community before they come up to the big leagues. So fans can say, well, I saw Manny Machado at Frederick or, uh, you know, I got to meet Jonathan Scoop in, in, in Bowie or, or Dylan Bundy. And I think that's part of the charm of baseball and the fact that it's so close. Uh, the, the players that are there, they get to follow our major league team, which is really their goal. And, uh, you know, it makes for a nice community to have those minor league teams around Baltimore. Every player thinks about it the moment he gets that phone call to the big leagues. And LJ has as well, but isn't getting too far ahead of himself. I have, I've gone through it, you know, but I just can't, you can't focus on that. You know, you never know what's going to happen. It could, it could happen tomorrow, it could happen a year from now. So I just try to go out, you know. I, I've definitely thought about, you know, I definitely wanted to be in Baltimore with my friends and family there, but if, if it happens to be on the road or something like that, you know, I just, I'll take it. You know, I just want to get there. That's the main thing. Good job, Dave Goldman, with that report from Sarasota. Have much more with the Orioles in spring training next week and in the coming month here on CTV Sports.